ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೇಶ್ವರ ಸಂಭ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೇಶ್ವರಿ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರಾಂ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ದ ಡಿವೋಟೀಸ್ ಡಿಸೈಪಲ್ಸ್ ಸಮಾಜೀಸ್ ಸತ್ಸಂಗೀಸ್ ಶ್ರೀಮಹನ್ಸ್ ಮಹನ್ಸ್ ತಾನೇದಾರ್ಸ್ ಕೊಟಾರೀಸ್ ವಿಸಿಟರ್ಸ್ ವ್ಯೂವರ್ಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಸಿಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಸ್ ಟ್ರೂ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಟಿ ವಿ ಸಾಧನಾ ಟಿ ವಿ ಟೂ ವೇ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಆರ್ ಟಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ನಯನ ದೀಕ್ಷಾ ಸಿಟಿ ಸಿಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟೂ ವೇ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ನಯನ ದೀಕ್ಷಾ ಕೋಲಾಲಂಪೂರ್ ಆಧೀನಂ ಒಹಯೋ ಆಧೀನಂ ಕೂಲಿಂ ಮಲೇಷಿಯಾ ಫೀನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅರಿಸೋನಾ ರೆಡ್ಮಾಂಟ್ ವಾಷಿಂಗ್ಟನ್ ಟೊರಂಟೋ ಆಧೀನಂ ಇಸ್ತಾನ್ಬುಲ್ ಟರ್ಕಿ ಸೆಡೋನಾ ಅರಿಸೋನಾ ಗ್ವಾಡಲುಪ್ ಆಧೀನಂ ವ್ಯಾಂಕೋವರ್ ಕೆನಡಾ ಸಿಯಾಟ್ಲ್ ಆಧೀನಂ ಸ್ಯಾನೂಸೆ ಆಧೀನಂ ಮಾ ಧ್ಯಾನಾತ್ಮ ಮಾಂಟ್ಕ್ಲೇರ್ ಕಲಿಫೋರ್ನಿಯಾ ಚೈನಾ ಹೈದ್ರಾಬಾದ್ ಆಧೀನಂ ಬಿಡದಿ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ನಗರ್ ಸೈಂಟ್ ಲೂಯಿಸ್ ವ್ಯಾರಿಂಗ್ಟನ್ ಯು ಕೆ ಹ್ಯೂಸ್ಟನ್ ಆಧೀನಂ ಮ್ಯಾನಾಟನ್ ನ್ಯೂಯಾರ್ಕ್ ಡೊಂಕಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಯು ಕೆ ಶುಗರ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸಸ್ ಅಮರ್ಸ್ಪುಟ್ ನೆದರ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ನಾರ್ತ್ ವ್ಯಾಂಕೋವರ್ ಭುವನೇಶ್ವರ್ ಸಿಂಗಪ್ಪೂರ್ ಆಧೀನಂ ದುಬಾಯ್ ಆಧೀನಂ ಹೈದ್ರಾಬಾದ್ ಗುಪ್ತಕಾಶಿ ಲಂಡನ್ ಕಾಶಿ ತಿರುವಾನ್ಮಿಯೂರ್ ಆಧೀನಂ ಅನ್ ಸಮ್ ಮೋರ್ ಸಿಟೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಜಾಯ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ವಿತ್ ಮೈ ಲವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ಇಲ್ ಎಂಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಶಾಂತಿ ಮಂತ್ರ ಆಫ್ ಕಟೋಪನಿಷತ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ರಿಸೈಟ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೀ ಓ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೋ ಬುನಕ್ತ ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯ ಕರವಾವೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿ ನಾವತೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾವಿತ್ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ಓಂ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೋ ಬುನಕ್ತ ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯ ಕರವಾವೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿ ನಾವತೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾವಿತ್ ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಐ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಶಾಂತಿ ಮಂತ್ರ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಯುನೀಕ್ ಟು Indian education system, pre-Mekole. Please understand. I do not want to accept anything post-Mekole as Indian education system. The cultural genocide done by the British where everything indian is disrespected thrown destroyed nothing indian is 
respected as worthy. The deep self-doubt implanted into us, still we are not able to get out of it. Please understand. Still we are not able to get out of it. Still we are stuck with it. It has gone so deep into it, into our system. Still we are not able to get out of it. The self-doubt, self-hatred, self-denial we have been put in. So when I say Indian education system, I mean pre-Max Muller, pre-Mekale. Our original education system. Listen. The Shanti Mantra concept is unique only to Indian education system. If you see the meaning of this mantra, it's so beautiful. Where a student and the teacher, both of them sit together and say, let there be no enmity between us. Why will a student and teacher sit and pray to Lord, let there be no enmity between us? Understand? Unfortunately, many times, student, denies the possibility of his ignorance and holds on to what he thinks as right. Master has to expose himself. Please understand, master has to expose student to himself. He has to expose him to himself which creates a lot of pain. A lot of incompletions are attacked, shaken. So there is a possibility for a student to develop a subtle anger, vengeance, violence towards the teacher, thinking that whatever I say is saying no to it. Whatever I say is saying no to it. Anything which makes me happy is denying it. Maybe he is not just interested in teaching. He is interested in putting me down. There is every possibility. You can start developing the anger. Understand? As a victim of the student's anger. Victim of the disciples anger I tell you this <laughs> many times I have been a victim of this disciples anger who are not matured enough to learn but who go on uttering repeating stupid words like a parrot no 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 I have surrendered myself to you I have surrendered myself to you please teach me exactly as it should be taught please make it happen as you want it to happen, the moment I put my hand on the purse, no. Even breaking your ideas about me is part of my job. Understand, many times I have been a victim of the so-called student's anger. The very education process in Indian tradition is awakening you. It is not just giving some words, ideas, concepts, theories, theologies. It is awakening you. Sometime the fact you are having may be right, but the context you are having will be wrong. So the fact also will be written off. Understand? The fact you are having may be right, but the context you are having may not be right. 
so during those moments not just the context even fact will be written off till you change your context this fact is not going to be useful for you anymore go and come back if you see in upanishads master as the disciple go he gives two cows and says go come back after it become thousand cows when disciple comes back after it became thousand cows master says no go and come back disciple could not understand what is this it's already become thousand why is he not accepting me he went and sat and meditated 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 suddenly he saw in that his mind got dissolved he himself became like one more cow when he realized the context of master's words came back with thousand cows master said come on receive the thousand and one, one cows when the context is not right even if the facts are right you are written off so in this whole process of awakening so much of patience is required from the side of student so much of understanding is required from the student side shanti mantra sets the context of indian education system and in indian education system there is no higher and lower means teacher is not considered as higher than you student is not considered lower than the teacher because it is very clear teacher also goes on learning by teaching please understand it is a student who makes person into teacher it's a student who makes the person into teacher it's a teacher listen teacher cannot be self centric and education is such both constantly gets enriched playing the role of a teacher for millions for last more than 12 years i wanted to tell you this i started teaching i think in 2001 and now it is 2015 almost 14 years being the teacher playing the role of a teacher also for millions for last 14 years i want to tell you i am enriched more than any of my students by teaching please understand all my classes the only person who attended is me <laughs> the only person who attended all my classes is me students change but teacher is same and fortunately i have the habit of sitting aside sitting beside and listening to what i am saying understand i am in such a peaceful space not only i am teaching i am able to sit beside me and listen 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 listening to paramahamsa nityananda for last 14 years i am telling you i am enriched more than any student
that's the truth if a teacher is not enriched by his teachings please don't listen to him if a teacher is not coming up with a new 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 truths and asking you to do some same meditation kriya pranayama yoga for last 25 years please save yourself because if the teacher is enriched he is bound to come up with the new 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 truths techniques methods for a various group various level students understands the whole context of indian education system is introduced in this one verse in this one shanti mantra in indian education system the first context set about education is let both of us be together and be protected let us not hurt each other let us not cherish enmity towards each other let's not cherish anger towards each other see all of us know master cannot cherish any anger towards the disciple what is there why should the line say let both of us not cherish the anger it means there is always a possibility disciple can have self doubt maybe my ignorance is being exploited maybe because i am ignorant he is not only just teaching me he is constantly pulling me down putting me down understand presence of ignorance is always painful pain is the method pain is the method to measure the presence of ignorance understand pain proves the presence of ignorance ignorance always will be causing pain please understand make this as a scale anything does not cause pain is not ignorance anything ignorance will cause pain will cause pain understand when you are sitting with so much of pus wounds internally externally even if master tells you please apply the medicine you will feel hurt see he is pointing my wounds he is all the time thinking about my wounds understand my job is the most difficult job i tell you i have to cut your ego without you feeling your, the pain first thing i have to make you understand which part of you is tumor and which part of you is muscle many time you associate your tumors as your muscle and tell me hey don't touch that part no 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 that is me don't touch don't touch but you go on telling please swami ji do whatever you want please swami ji whatever you have to do i have surrendered myself completely <laughs> holding on to the tumor with both hands and both leg <laughs> swami ji swami ji you do whatever need to be done swami ji i have completely surrendered myself to you swami ji please remove the tumors as much as early as possible swami ji i am your disciple for last four years still you have not made me enlightened swami ji what is this swami ji you are wasting my time what is this swami ji i am not yet enlightened please please you make me enlightened swami ji and i i have surrendered myself to you completely swami ji 
to make you understand what is tumor what is your muscle is the biggest job understand arrogance remembers the pain caused by others not the benefits arrogance never lets you remember the benefits caused by the guru only it remembers pain you created using the name of the guru the teacher's job is the most difficult job teacher's job is the most difficult job he has to constantly deal with your conflicts controversies confusions morning you will say please do what needs to be done and give me enlightenment evening you will come and say i am giving up i don't think either you are capable or i am capable of standing living with you and then again next day morning you come and tell no no swami ji i have decided to surrender please awaken me help me to become enlightened which one should i believe so naturally i wait when i wait again i get blamed for that so long i am here under your feet still i have not become enlightened are tell me you have been under my feet whether surrendering or to pull my feet more number of times people have pulled this leg than the number of times they worshiped that is why i sit down and teach <laughs> understand indian education system is not just giving you some informations not bothered about you no it is one of the most subtle and most powerful most subtle and most powerful awakening system awakening means so much of involvement between guru and disciple is required that is why in original indian education system guru and disciple are supposed to live together 24 hours disciple need to absorb the guru not observe absorb the guru 24 hours please understand indian education system was never day scholar method no the day scholar method is the non involvement narrative education system please understand i am using a new word non involvement narrative where the teacher talks to the blackboard you talk to your neighbor the classmate friend or the birds through the window in the class when you are sitting if you are all the time gazing through the window you are going to become a poet all the time if you are talking to your friend you are going to become a politician now the indian education system is such the original indian education system is not non committal narrative method the teacher sits with the disciples disciples live with the teacher 24 hours behaving observing sorry observing the behavior the way teacher carries himself 
I tell you. Now it is time. As per the astrology, no theory can rule any human society which is imposed on that society more than 60 years. Now 60 years is over for the non-involvement narrative education system. I am telling you, future is Gurukul system. The future of education is where the teachers and students live together in one place. If needed, let the parents also stay there. But because basically kids do what you do, they don't, they won't do what you say. Understand? They do what you do. They won't do what you say. Whatever you do, simply they will do. They will never do what you say. Most of the time, they don't care for what you say. The future of the Indian education system, I can say, the future of the any intelligent education system will be Gurukul system. I am not talking out of pride or arrogance. I am talking seeing the future. I am telling you, I will be leading this revival in the education system through our Gurukul system. Through our Gurukul system. It is going to be the Gurukuls. In Indian education system, Complete involvement is required from the side of the teacher and the student. Student need to study the teacher. Teacher need to study the student. Understand? After thoroughly studying the student, teacher identifies the right subject in which the student will be successful. Few things are basic for everyone, like signs of completion and enlightenment. Other than the signs of enlightenment, all other things, master selects the subject in which the student will be successful. And then student is trained specifically in those fields with the knowledge of enlightenment, with the science of enlightenment, with the truth of enlightenment. As the context, even if you learn the archery, enlightenment is the context. If you study administration, enlightenment is the context. If you learn about business, enlightenment is the context. If you learn plumbing, building houses, sculpting, enlightenment is the context. Indian education system is more of a transmission of the knowledge, not transfer of knowledge. It is not just information based. I am telling you, all the education institutions in the modern day trying to teach the 
Indian knowledge, like a sculpting or making the deities or Stapatya Veda, in the structure of modern day education organizations like a school, college, they are utter failure. The students who have studied up to postgraduate in those institutes, I can see the fellow who has studied post-graduation who has, who has a double degree in sculpting, sculpting cannot make one small Ganesha. <laughs> but the boy who grows up with his father as guru, at the age of six he can do wonders in stone. He can write poetry in stone. When he produces something, it will be literally poetry in the stone. Thanks to Indian government allowing kids to work with the family, with the parents in non-hazardous fields. The labor law in India has been corrected. Kids can work with the parents in family concerns because many of the Indian art is a family concern. I was wondering if the children are not allowed to work with the parents, they will never learn and specialize. See, the Western education method is based on updating. The more you delay purchase of any IT product, you will get a cheaper and better product. The more you delay, you will get a cheaper and better product because it is an updation method. But Indian things are Specialization method. The more number of years you spend on it, more you will be specialized. Weaving, carving, agriculture, building. That is why in our education system, in our social system, we insisted son doing the job of the father, it is so stupid. It is so stupid that system was questioned, abused, beaten, finally destroyed. Now, we don't have identity and we are not able to be self-sustaining because the stability of our society is destroyed. Earlier we know Every year, how many engineers will be produced? How many agriculturists will be produced? The whole society is so stable. Understand, it is the stability of the society decides the value of your currency. Nothing else. It is stability of the society that decides the value of currency. In a very cunning, systematic way. In the name of destroying untouchability, which was not there, the way it is projected now. Please understand, a boy goes to the Gurukul, and tells the Guru, I want to join your Gurukul. Guru asks, what is your community? The boy says, I do not know. My, father, my mother is a dancer in the court, so I do not know who fathered me. I don't know my father's name, so I don't know my community. Immediately, Guru says, this level of integrity means you are a Brahmana. Come on, join the Gurukul. You are the highest order of the society. Understand? The order was not decided. The ladder was not just based on birth. You can always race to the next level. Or you can always climb the ladder by your integrity and authenticity. And if at all you wanted to bring equality, you should have made the people in the lower ladder, lower rung of the ladder to go to the top rung. But instead, 
cunningly india has been culturally attacked and the top rung has been brought down to the lower understand the people who constantly abuse you that your culture your community your religion is based on caste system they are not talking to elevate you they are using it only to destroy you understand they are creating the evil which was never part of our community system our caste system blown out of proportion we never had people as slaves please understand india never had a slave and slave trade these dogs who are keeping human beings as slave just because of the color of the skin come and abuse us here that we are having untouchability what a stupid it's a extreme stupidity extreme stupidity human beings always will live as a small gangs and groups we are a social animal we will form our own society it is natural as if in the west there was no classification and division or what it was all based on money here at least in india we were classified only based on knowledge beautifully the society was balanced society was balanced one group was empowered with knowledge one was empowered with weapons see these are the four major powers of the society one was empowered with wealth currency treasury the another one was empowered with the land understand the four division the major powers of the society is this four land treasure weapon knowledge all the four was distributed to four different groups society was so balanced all four have to live together untouchability is invention and exaggeration invention and exaggeration of the stupid anti hindu theologies and these fellows they go on claiming vedas are recent inventions recently i was reading an article by one of the great western awarded rewarded intellectual this stupid fellow has written a big article saying that no 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 untouchability in india are thousands of years old it is refer the quotations are there the quotes are is quoting here and there some mis translated distorted sanskrit verses from rigveda manusmriti and all that and saying at least the untouchability is 10000 years old see this vedas and this manusmritis and then in the later part of the article the same stupid dog is writing vedas are only 2000 year old in the beginning he is saying the untouchability which is quoted in the vedas are 10000 years old huh? and he is proving he is trying to establish that by quoting the vedas and smritis and then in the later part of the article he suddenly claims vedas themselves are only 2000 years old huh? you don't need to display your stupidity so openly i just want to tell these fellows don't open your mouth people will at least doubt you may be intelligent or you may be fool 
but if you open your mouth you will confirm you are a fool now if you don't open your mouth people may just have a doubt you are a fool if you open your mouth you may confirm it now is there no limit for abusing the vedic tradition the most sacred oldest ancient living civilization this vedic tradition and its own amazing education system indian historians go on feeling the guilt and repent saying oh we never recorded the history properly we never had the perfect calendar what stupid thing you are talking first you will discard and destroy whatever we have and then claim we don't have the sense of recording the history no other civilization has recorded so beautifully so thoroughly their whole history understand at least last 100000 years unbroken history we have recorded we have it <laughs> discarding all of that in the name of myth then what are you searching so much of abuse has been done to indian education system and indian knowledge whatever is there you will discard or try to pick up few things only to abuse it now i am telling you all this stupidity the era of stupidity is over by 1978 we are no more in 1970s to listen to all this stupidity understand ours is the most authentic calendar system everything is so beautifully recorded so beautifully available the indian education system if revived in all its authenticity we will become jagat guru guru of the world understand we were guru of the world we will become guru of the world we were guru of the world we will become guru of the world the context the shanti mantra sets about the indian education system is amazing unimaginable i need to introduce this context for some more days i need to remove a lot of misconceptions about the indian education system to the world only then i can expand on shanti mantra and enter into the upanishads i don't know how many days it is going to take i'll do it how many ever days it takes i'll do it i'll continue to expand on the indian education system and the context this upanishad mantra sets about the indian education system i bless you all let you all radiate with integrity authenticity responsibility enriching casting living advaita the eternal bliss nityananda thank you be blissful nityananda dhyana peetam nityananda nagar of mysore road bidadi bengaluru phone 08027279999 www.nityananda.org www.youtube.com/lifebliss foundation